I have already launched my Wireshark and we are going to look at the statistics again and but this time we will look into the IP statistic which is the IP addresses and you will see that basically there are quite a number of IP addresses statistic we will look at each of them firstly of course uh, we have the source destination so just click the create stats unless if you want to filter your files or right, which is all your packets then you will use the filter then only you click on create stats but right now since I want the full thing I'll just create the stats and you will see two particular section this section over here is sorted by the IP address all right uh, but only for the source while the other list is actually for the destination now how this is useful is particularly I want to know where the data all these packets data packets are coming from and coincidentally much of the data is actually coming from this particular IP address so if I'm running my uh, Wireshark on my server for instance okay why am I getting so much data or so much requests or so much packets coming from this IP address okay is it because there this IP address is trying to do a brute force or, or something else but the opposite can be true for the destination as well for instance for this particular IP address over here I will see that there is a large count all right from this single IP address so is this normal I will probably question this again is this actually normal or is a lot of information on my machine is being sent to this particular IP address and is this actually normal for instance this could be symbolizing that uh, data is being leaked or transfer out All right. but of course uh, you can't make a concrete decision on whether it is a hack or whether it is an incident just by looking at the counts or by looking at the IP address but it gives you a starting point to question or right, anything that looks out of the ordinary I'm gonna close this and look at the others or right, of course I have the destination itself or right, if you only want to look for destination which is where are the data going to well, I'll skip that one if you do not want to filter or, I, or you do not want the list to be broken down into either a source or destination right, then choose this particular option just the IP address right, just the IP address itself so it, this particular list does not actually filter out where or right, uh, it's coming from or where it's going to it just filter put the entire IP address list plus its count percentage etc all the statistics is here and I see that I have almost all my IP packets is going to to or from all right from one single IP address and of course I know this IP address so to me it's actually normal all right but if you are seeing such cases you may want to question all right what about the rest all right you have another 25 percent 25 percent or which is one quarter of your uh, packet right. and let's go to the last one there's one more i want to do is the type packet type tying to the ip typically you will find TCP and UDP all right, because TCP IP, UDP IP all right, from your uh, internet all right, or from your own IP networks and normally again for my situation for my network I would find a lot of TCP so almost all TCP okay I would get occasionally some UDP a uh, very small percentage or a very small number of packets and this is actually normal for my network what 
uh, UDPs are sometimes used for flooding purposes. Okay, so chances are I will not see, see high value on this unless you do have application that you are using in your network, particularly using the UDP protocol. So this is how typically one person or, or a network uh, administrators or network uh, monitoring purposes will use the IP statistic.